Maybe we do, son. Don't think you have a corner on all of virtue vision in the country, or that everybody else is fat and selfish and you're the first generation to come along that's felt dissatisfied. They all have, you know, about different things, and most of them didn't have the same opportunity and freedoms that you do. The fact is, more people are living better right here than anywhere else ever before in history. So don't expect us to roll over and play dead when you say you're dissatisfied. You're taller, stronger, healthier, better educated, and you live longer than the last generation. And we don't think that's altogether bad. We've done quite a bit of fighting all around the world. Whether you think it was moral or not, a lot of people are free today to make their own mistakes because of it. And that may just include you. I don't know. Maybe part of it's the fact that you're in a hurry. But some problems you can't get quick answers to, no matter how much you want them. Show me how to get rid of the unlimited capacity for human beings to make themselves believe that they're somehow right and justified in stealing from somebody. I don't think that we're telling you to lose your ideals or your sense of outrage. They're the only way things ever get done. And there's a lot that still needs doing. And we hope you'll tackle it. You don't have to do anything dramatic like trying to come up with a better country. You can find enough to keep you busy right here. While you're at it, don't break things up in the name of progress or crack a placard stick over somebody's head to help him see the light. Be careful of his rights, because your property and your person and your rights aren't any better than his. And next time, you may be the one to get it. We remember a man who killed six million people and called it social improvement. So hang in. Don't try to build a new country. Make the old one work. It has for over 400 years. <laughs>